you're listening to a special mini edition of the Creation Science for Kids show. There are many ways we can share our experience of the amazing world God has created. You have to be there to sense some of them, like smells. Others you can watch in videos or photographs. But there's one way to share what it's like to enjoy nature that is perfect for a podcast. Poetry. Today, Charity is going to share with us Autumn by Emily Dickinson. The morns are meeker than they were. The nuts are getting brown. The cherry's cheek is plumper. The rose is out of town. The maple wears a gayer scarf. The field a scarlet gown. Lest I should be old-fashioned, I'll put a trinket on. <laughs> Thank you, Charity. That was a really sweet poem. How does it make you feel? Um, like everything in the world is turning beautiful. I want to be beautiful, too. Yeah. Who came up with the idea of autumn? With the trees turning colors, especially in North America, where we have the maples that are turn more beautiful than any other trees in the world this time of year. Who came up with that idea? God did. Yeah. So, and what does this poem remind us? God came up with this idea because he likes? Beauty. Yes. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, our creator, thank you for giving us autumn. Thank you for the leaves that turn beautiful colors for the nuts and the berries, and all the different things that you have blessed us with. They were your ideas, and you gave them to us so we could share in them too. We thank you for the pleasure of words as well and this chance to share it with other people. Amen. Amen. (laughs) I'd love to share uncopyrighted or original poetry you record as well. Stop by creationscienceandnumber4kids.com slash podcast to find out how to send it to me. Until next time, have fun treasuring our amazing universe and creator. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Revelation 4.11 